Jafar, your name is Jafar, yeah? I have my day off today, yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> bad mounting me around the yeah, town. See, you're very well. You are able to articulate your ideas well. In Thank you so much for having me, ma'am. This is such delighted, excited. So much excited to be here in front of you. I have seen a lot of video on YouTube. Yeah. Thank you so much so, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. So tell me, how is your day going? Yeah, it's pretty good. Actually, I'm always occupied with my work. So that's the reason it uh, can be reasonably well. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Good to know. <laughs> All right. So Jafar, your name is Jafar, yeah? Am I right? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. Jafar, tell me something about yourself. Uh, I'm a bit of fatigue when I'm going to introduce myself because my introduction is next to nothing. So basically, I'm connecting with you from India and my state name is West Bengal. I think you mm -hmm. must award this city in Kolkata, right? Yes, yes, I know about and, it. Yeah, and in terms of my education, so I have just completed 10 class standard. Mm -hmm. And if, you, if I will tell you what I'm doing actually for my living, so I'm a driver. Yes. So, and you know that I have my own YouTube channel, Jaffa Diver Talk, which is based on a spoken English. Yeah, it's all about me, ma'am. Good to know about yourself, but I just have a question. Why do you feel fatigue? You said I feel fatigue <laughs> to introduce myself. Why? Uh, actually, there are one reason. No, uh, probably says bad mounting uh, me around the town because when they get to know me, that I'm uh, inferior in front of them and I'm nothing. So and still I'm working as a diver. So yeah, sometimes I'm feeling that I'm petite. Yeah. I would like to suggest to you here, why are you taking those people's words seriously? You are a yeah. human being. If you're yes. not doing anything wrong, you need not to feel fatigue and shy, okay, to introduce uh -huh. yourself. And you are uh -huh. not inferior. Okay. And they are not superior. If they have this kind of mentality, they are uh -huh. not superior at all. What do you think? Yeah. They are superior if they have this kind of mentality? No, not at all. Because uh, if they have uh, this kind of mentality, so there is no sense, no? Because yes. why they are thinking always the people is uh, inferior in front of them because uh, mm -hmm. everybody has great experience and they have their great ingredients. So why you are thinking like that? Yeah. That's really true. That's why yeah. I'm saying don't feel like that way. OK, you should feel proud of yourself. You are a driver. You are looking after yourself well. OK, you yes, are not yes. doing anything wrong to looking after yourself and your family. And now you are still looking at another chance to gain some knowledge to educate yourself. So this yeah. is a really big thing. OK, so do you have your day off today? I have my day off today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so in holidays. which city are you belonging yeah. from? Let me introduce myself. OK, so yeah. as you know, my name is Hema. I was born and raised in India, Delhi. Basically, I am from Uttarakhand, but after getting married, I came to Australia. Therefore, I have been living in Australia for the last 16 years. Mm -hmm. My qualifications include a post-graduation degree in Hindi honors, which I have done from Delhi University. I have also a bachelor degree in education, which I have done in Australia. Therefore, mm -hmm. I have been working as a teacher in Australia. So by profession, I'm a teacher. Besides, I have a channel on YouTube. It is called The Art of Speaking English. And that is all about me. Yeah, great to know about yourself. So do you know the place of Haldwani? Yes, yes. Yes, yes I have been to there in Haldwani. No? So yes. once upon a time, yes. I have already yes. visited in Haldwani. Yeah. So okay. that was my That's best tip. What will be the dynamic to this session? I love to know something from your side about the Italy, no? Not, not Italy. I'm living in Australia. Australia, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I was confused now. You would like yeah. to know about Australia? Yes, I'm very happy. I'm in Australia. Uh, but when I came here, my initial days, it was so struggle, uh, hard for me. I struggled a lot. I had a separation anxiety, but now I get over because I'm a teacher here. And now I'm able to communicate with um, Australian people. I'm teaching their children. I'm very happy. Children and families are very nice here. And also government provides lots of facilities. So I'm taking advantage of those facilities environment is nice and clean and luxury and education level is far far better than another country so yeah this is your first country 
now you are staying in australia so have you ever been to any other countries as well uh not really i'm not that kind of person i got an opportunity but i like to stay with my family so i just been to india and here yeah i saw a little bit of uh, 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 singapore and uh -huh. some other country not because uh, i just sometimes we have to stay in the middle now that's why i just get chance a little bit to see and just half an hour or one hour and that's all okay so don't ever you remember your home country uh, maybe you have some friends so what kind of souvenir or mementos would you like to bring back from your home countries in australia sometime you remember something that you have uh, lost something or you are losing something that you have to stay here in india so as i told you i'm indian so i do miss my country because i spent my whole childhood there i have my nice memories over there because i miss my friend i miss being with my family and also uh, when i came here as i told you i had a separation anxiety and uh, our country is different now we have so much affection over there festival colors food yeah, yeah. so even like neighbors we have uh, connection with them like we have uh, we are the family members and so that's why maybe i miss more my family i miss more my country and my friends okay so in your environment where you are living so there are any family they are uh, actually they are from indian yes we have indian families definitely but they do also no they have, I, as i told you my personality is different i'm not like this since my childhood i used to be very shy and introverted person so still yeah. i am like kind of that person yeah. so you are yeah. a, i can consider you you are a more of a homebody so you don't want to go outside if you will go outside you need to share some thoughts and you need to make friends over there so without having a friends you cannot go to the outside no that's the reason you are kind of introverted you don't want to waste a lot of time so if you will get any leisure time you want to just take a rest right yeah no when i get my leisure time what i do i spend time with my family as i told you so i if i i like to go out it's not like this i i really like nature nature beauty because i am basically from uttarakhand so i yeah. cannot say no i don't like to go out i like this material world i like nat natural world actually i mm. like to connect with natural things so okay. i like to go out definitely but i like to go with my family i'm not like this i'm having fun and my family yeah. here yeah okay I so uh, cut because uh, i got a ex uh, excited question for you did you get citizenship from the australian yes. government government Yes, yeah. we came. We came here as a PR, permanent residence, and yeah. after two years, I got it. Yeah. So, what does your husband do? He is an uh, engineer, computer engineer. So, yeah. He is working in a company. So, you are also mm -hmm. working, and your husband is also working. So, I have been to Dubai in thrice, mm -hmm. maybe, and mm -hmm. and Iran mm -hmm. one time, and many more countries I have already visited. because mm -hmm. when i was so young that time i have visited already uh, dubai so mm -hmm. i have little bit experience about the abroad all mm -hmm. over the countries people philippines indonesia mm -hmm. chinese and so many countries people but uh, if indian people want to live in foreign country so they cannot live entire the life no because they want mm -hmm. to live the life with uh, a very large family even they want to meet and they want to keep touching with the their family members with their friends so it is very quite difficult to stay there in whole uh, your life no so if you will stay there so sometime you can remember that what you are did we uh, entire your childhood so some uh, i really believe that it is quite difficult to our indian culture yeah uh, you repeat? said it is quite difficult for indians to live overseas you mean yes 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 okay uh, I yeah. don't think so. It depends. Yeah. I have seen here people; they are having fun. Actually, they like to being here. Uh, uh, there are so many uh, friends working over there. So if they will provide me in high salaries, I don't want to go there. No. Mm -hmm. Highly recommended to me that if uh, you want to come here for visit purpose, is it okay for me? But I don't want to work 
uh, abroad. Yeah. Yes, I also like miss my family. And when I told you last year, when I went to India, I tried to search, find out my friends. I couldn't find them. But then I was just uh, complain. Uh, contemplating that if I get the chance to live in India or again, how it going to be, then I little bit realize I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I, we, we are in different country now. So environment is totally different over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, pretty sure that uh, in environment, if you think about the uh, European countries, so their culture and their heritage is, is different from our Indian. They are so clean and so humble and so amicable people no so if you will want to do job anywhere so you will get the high salary and uh, you will get a lot of amicable people over there no so they are mm. going to help to them but indian is literally difference i could say because if you want to do the work so you cannot get it easily no so it would be that's why i think i have seen lots of uh, new generation they like to go abroad mm. yeah so eventually uh, would you like to ask me any type of questions or do you have any questions for me? Definitely, I have lots of questions for you because I can see you are very well. You are able to articulate your ideas well in English. And you said uh. you just passed 10th and you are a uh. driver. So uh. this is very proud moment for you. Uh, if I say that you are very good, very articulate speaker in English. So may uh. I know from, from where you learn these skills, what the method you have used? Yeah, initial day, I have a lot of uh, apprehensive when I was going to interact with someone or a stranger. But now it has changed all my innovation like a fadeaway because uh, by interacting with so many people like you, because it is not easy to get uh, everyday people such kinds of uh, people. So now I am immersing with myself with the nice uh, people and having the conversation it uh, something going to be enhanced by communication skills so it can be uh, reduce my fear somehow and when i receive some passengers from the airport and railway station they are from different countries so entire my journey i have to talk with them right so i have learned so many things from them but uh, I'm not giving 100% contributions to them by towards if speaking with them. But uh, I have been watched so many kinds of TV series, English movies, podcasts like that. So mm -hmm. I I gain a lot of vocabularies over there and I try to figure out the meaning and I try to implement while I'm speaking. So I'm never reading anything. So for my improving. But uh, now is it is uh, it is easy for me, but uh, because a uh, lot many YouTubers they are giving me the permission to upload my video. So when I am uploading the some kind of video, so I need to watch those kinds of video three times, four times, and five times because mm -hmm. I need to pick up some new things for mm -hmm. my communication skill, right? Yes. So uh, you can consider me that I am a quick learner. So if I will watch something so fiercely, so definitely I'm going to use those kinds of things. What they have already used it. Yeah. Good, good to know about your English learning journey. So you are blessed with uh, very nice skills. The, as you said, your memory is very strong. So that's yeah. a good thing. And also if someone's like you yeah. wants to learn English, yeah. Okay, from zero level, what best piece of advice would you like to give to that person? Because uh, yes, I have a lot of experience about this because I, I, I already did it because initial day I have started my journey with the so scratch level and from the zero level you could say that. So if you want to learn this language, so gradually it is not possible for anyone to learn easily because English is one of the most important language there are a lot of vocabularies, a lot of accent. And if you want to uh, be like a native speaker, so definitely you need to focus so many things, narrate your sentence, expressions, and how could you demonstrate yourself in front of the other people? So mm -hmm. yeah, the first priority I would like to prefer to all the learner who has been learning and who has been trying a lot to learn this language. So definitely they should go for the vocabularies. Vocabularies mm -hmm. is really, really important. Mm. And if you think and they are not impeccable with the grammar, so no need to think about the grammar, just forget it. Later on, it will come immediately because, yeah, so fast it uh, hoping that you would notice my disappear all the learner who who is uh, in the beginning level, right? So 
yeah and and if you want to don't reveal your face on youtube so they are going to be disaster so it doesn't matter that what the other people think because initial day when i got connection from the uh, one youtuber so i was fumbling i was mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah i was taking so many pauses uh, so that's the reason until or unless when you will be not exhale in your english inhale your english and if you will not get too much talk so then it is too difficult to get a good flow with this language no so first i would like to prefer all the learners that you should go for the vocabularies yeah five or six vocabularies in a day mm -hmm. not more than that yeah mm -hmm. not more than that yeah mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so you said that if someone wants to learn English, first of all, they need to make sure they need to work on their vocabulary. They need yeah. to make sure they learn at least five, six words each day. Yeah. Yes. And also pronunciation. And as you said, yeah. the way we demonstrate, we the way we are presenting ourselves in front yeah. of camera, in front of other yeah. people, that is more important. It's not yes. only your verbal language. It is also your non-verbal language. Yeah. yeah. That is plays a biggest role in your communication skills so that's a good thing thank you for giving these suggestions and I really like it and uh, yes yeah, so you said um, at the beginning in your initial days you were not able to face camera and mm. you used to take lots of pauses but mm. now you find yourself you are very el eligible you are very competent and very skillful talking with other youtubers and youtubers they are giving you chance so mm. you are taking advantage of that that's a good thing so now you can see significant improvement in your communication skills so how do you feel now now I'm really lucky enough that uh, I can uh, survive myself with the nice people, with the, so many educated people because uh, you are uh, an Australian, I think that. So uh, this is the great opportunity you know, to be here in front of you because uh, this is the opportunity because I have, uh, I did it and I have got from the, someone more, because no one is telling you that uh, here is the opportunity, you know. Actually, I can say proudly that I'm get a lot of things which is uh, really, really not uh, expectable from the other people because a uh, lot many people out there, even they don't want to do anything for their expectation, no, because they have a lot of things in their bucket list. But they even they don't want to try to achieve something, right? But I have already achieved something which is really, really incredible, and uh, uh, and really it's a inexplicable because I want to just like a water when you will put it anywhere, just take it mold. So mm -hmm. in future, definitely I it has already been one year I have practicing. So within three four years later, I would like to see myself as a tutor or mentor. Yeah. So I proudly say about it that I have achieved so many things because I can able to meet uh, all works of life people and diversely and culturally. So this is not an easy task, no, in front of the sitting mm -hmm. any foreign people and <laughs> and very educated people. Yeah. Yeah, you said rightly, it's not an easy task to sit in front of other people, especially mm -hmm. when you don't know that person, you don't know that yeah. person, how that person going to react, how, pers yes, how yes. that person going to think about myself. We have this yeah. question inside our mind. Yeah, so you are keeping all these questions aside and now you are confidently sitting in front of me and you are talking and thanks for sharing your future plan. Actually, you said you want to become a mentor or an English trainer. So that's a good thing. You are working yeah. towards your goal, I would say and you are doing really good job so with this note i think i would i have to say bye to you because thank time you. is going over thanks for your yeah. time i really appreciate this and this is very commendable job you are doing because you have learned english by yourself yeah. you haven't mentioned any of the teachers name or platforms and you are learning you're putting your efforts so you are a life example if someone wants to uh, learn English and that person has excuse okay I have no environment I have no one to teach me how I'm going to learn how I'm going to uh, you know speak English well so we can say okay we have Jeffer he is a, a, a an example in front of you you can learn from him you can see him he yeah. had proof that you, he can uh, learn English by himself and now it's a good good you are a you are an inspiration for all other learners so that's a good thing and keep doing keep practicing and keep growing thank you okay. thank you ma'am yeah. all right bye it was, uh, it was an astonishing conversation with you so it was nice talking to you really really 
So thank you. Have a nice day, ma'am. You too. Thank you so much. Bye. So,